Okay, into the water. Into the water. Shannon. Ready. Ready. <laughs> boom, boom, I boom. Love you guys. I love you guys. That was so awesome. Oh my God. No fun at all. <laughs> hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. <laughs> Welcome back to another huge fly fisherman video. I've got a saltwater fly fishing video from South Florida for you today. And if you want to see extra special bonus peacock bass footage, you can check it out over on my other channel at special.tv. We do special stuff over at special.tv that doesn't make it onto YouTube. So I went to Florida again because I love fishing in Florida. It's kind of known for that. I went to a new area, which I was excited about, but I was also excited about the place where we stayed. It's called Cypress Cottage and it's in Everglades City, Florida. How many times have you booked a place to stay and it looked really nice online, but then when you got there, it just wasn't what you thought it would be. Cypress Cottage isn't like that. It is a nice place to stay. I'll put a link to it in the video description and in the comments. Cypress Cottage is a two bedroom, two bath house in Everglades City. It was designed by Antoniazzi Architecture and built in 2021. It's simple, clean, comfortable, and well appointed with everything you need. The house backs up to a canal that's full of wildlife and there's dockage so you can leave your boat in the water if you want to. Check out this window wall that's overlooking the canal. It feels like you're in the mangroves or camping on a chicky, but without the bugs. The canal takes you up into a river system or you can run out towards the islands and the gulf where you can fish and explore. Let's talk more about that. The Everglades City and Chukaluski area is wild. There is tons of cool history, both modern and prehistoric, and of course the wildlife watching and fishing is world class. There's a reason this area has been a sport fishing destination for over a hundred years. To the west and south is Everglades National Park, where you're going to catch tarpon, snook, redfish, sharks, all of that ocean stuff. And just to the east is Big Cypress National Park, which has some serious bass fishing. I think my favorite thing about staying at Cypress Cottage and this area is that it's laid back and chill. There's not a lot going on in a good way. If you've ever fished in the Keys, it's the opposite of that. It's quiet and there are no strip malls and t-shirt shops. So if you're looking for a place to go on a fishing trip, please check out Cypress Cottage. I promise you won't be disappointed. Again, I'll leave a link in the description and in the comments and when you book your trip, tell them who sent you. Okay, now let's get to the fishing. First, let's introduce the crew. I'm joined by my friend Rob, who's been in a couple of my videos under an assumed name. He brought his Maverick, and he also brought his much better half, Chandra, also known as Hot Rod. As I said, this is a new area for me, and Rob and Hot Rod hadn't been there for like 15 years, so it's pretty much new for them too. We didn't know our way around at all. I caught three new species of fish on this trip, which was cool. Normally in this area, you're gonna expect to catch snook, redfish, maybe some tarpon. The tarpon thing wasn't really happening for us. It was a little too cold. We saw some redfish, we caught a few snook, but we ended up getting into some fish that we were not expecting. And that kept things spicy for us. So we launched our boat on the first day and got our bearings. The water here is much shallower than where we usually fish and there are oyster beds everywhere. So running the boat can be a little bit tricky. If you don't know where you're going, an abundance of caution is a good idea. We looked at some tarpon spots in the morning, saw nothing, so then we did the usual pounding mangrove shorelines to see what we could dig up. It was a little slow for a while, we played with some sharks, ate some chicken, got a few bites that didn't connect, and then we saw something big on a flat and went to check it out. Okay, he was coming for it. Yeah. <laughs> It's a black drum. Weird. It's a shark. It's a <laughs> It's a snook. Redfish. We didn't know it at the time, but that big black drum was big foreshadowing for later in the day. Like a baby manatee. There he is. 
There he is. We'll take it. Accidental. You just gotta keep grinding, guys. You're not gonna catch him if that fly's not in the water. You know, all the time. Hey, it's a fish. It's a, what do you call it, snooklet? Oh, oh it is a snooklet. Yeah, what'd you think it was? I really thought it was a ladyfish. Oh, no, no, no. He's small snook. Hey, success. I mean, we, this might be, ah. this might be what we get. Oh, this fly's coming apart. Ah, ah, ah. Chandra, do you ever watch my videos? Do you know I like to name fish? No, I was gonna ask you to name it. Hank. Hank. All right, Hank. You're a cute little guy. Or we could call her Hope. Hope. Because we're because we need we need some right now. Let's call her Hope. <laughs> Pretty fish. Yeah. Bye bye. So we need a new fly. Yeah, head's coming apart. Let's tie on a new fly. Yay, snooklets! Snooklets make everybody happy. <laughs> Best fish I've caught all day. Um, snooklets are like uh, mini candy bars. <laughs> Seriously. Right. You catch yeah. a snooklet and you're like, oh, tiny Milky Way. Yeah. <laughs> like, you hand me a mini candy bar? Like, I'm stoked about it. I'm not going to be like, fuck, I want a bigger one. It's a nice little treat. And then the best part about that is, you just want another one. Yeah. <laughs> you can't stop. You just want another one. You want to hop up? <laughs> nice. You got one. I believe you call that manifesting a fish, right? Man, we're catching them today. Masters of the Everglades. Did you hear me? I was like, it's. I know. <laughs> oh, there they go. Look, there they go. I saw little shadows, but I thought they were. Oh, I scared them out. They're done. Cool, got some baby snooks, check that off the list. Now, let me tell you about black drum. I've caught plenty of big black drum in Louisiana, but Florida isn't exactly known for it. And they can be weird fish. They have barbells on their chin that they use for tasting things, and a lot of times when they move on your fly, it looks like they ate it, but it's not really inside their mouth. So we ended up finding a school of hundreds of black drum, which is not uncommon in other places, but apparently it's a bit unusual for the Everglades. Also, just to warn you, you're gonna see a spinning on here in a few minutes just let that go there's two things coming along here right 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 i think they're resistant i don't see them uh, yes i see i see it i see it okay here we go here we go here we go i want to pick up again hold on no here they come here they come i want to i want to cast at this one. Oh, i see what you're i see what you, i see what you see i see what you see, I see, what you see. okay should i go for the one on the bank this is called Yep, it's called the Dragon Drop. Oh God, they're all over. There it is, it's like four. That must have been what I saw earlier. Oh, come on, you dummy. Oh, I thought he was on it, man. It's like, are they blind? Well, and they'll feel it with their chin. It's an inch. Oh, I'm on the oyster. Oh, look at that, handling drums everywhere. I, and I, I need a good visual. There we go. No, like, no, not even, no reaction at all, right? It looks like they eat it, right? Yeah, it is like car fishing because they're not eating it. <laughs> huh, this is so weird. Just as I turned the camera off, I spilled my beer. No, I, I turned the camera off. That's what made him eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the mouth. I like, I think he really ate it. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, <laughs> That's a big Florida drum for sure. <clears throat> Is he in the fin? I hope not. <sighs> We're gonna pull on him either way. All right, now I'm fishing. Okay, we got a shark out here at 11. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna eat my black drum? Well, we're gonna try not to let that happen. The fish is acting a little more frantic. Yeah, there's a shark out there. Oh, man, they're fighters in, in Louisiana. They just roll the f over. Yeah. <sighs> this water's a little warmer. I think he's in the face, dude. Yeah, it might be. Are you driving him? I'm going right in on him. Get a little closer and we can reef on him. Alright, he's wrapped. So okay. it's underneath the water. Yeah, reel down, reel down. Try to get it under him. There you go. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna go for the grab here in a second. There we go. Yeah, it's 
it's definitely it's right here in his chin. All right. Oh, he's loud. Oh, he, oh, he came off. Goes. He came off. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Flight fell out. <laughs> it was totally in his mouth. Yeah, it was totally in his mouth. <laughs> nice job, guys. Flight fell out. <laughs> Good yeah. job. Good job. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. We only sacrificed one beer. No, it's fine. Oh, let's do it again. Yeah, no, we're let's gonna get again. more. Do you want to rig up your own rod? Let's do it again. Yeah. Do you again? No, well, you might as well chuck at them too. They do not like this fly. They're yeah, they're like shying away from the fly. Just gotta find the right fish. There's a shark here too. Oh, maybe something black and heavy. Oh, oh, he moved on yours. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Now what do I do? You got a Barbie pole. You land it. That's what you do. <laughs> that fish is over 20 pounds. Wow, they like the jig, huh? Right away. Don't let them know you're hooked up. That's the biggest tarpon I've ever seen. Go right. Go back. Go back. Run to the back of the boat. 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 Jesus, it's a beast. I got her. I still got her? I, got her. I still got her? I got her. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a quick cute pickup. Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna want a towel. Do you wanna do a dummy shot for no, the huge? No, no. I have integrity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, yeah. Nailed it, got it. <laughs> nice. nice job, Jigmatic. Woo! Yeah, look at that. It's clean too. Yeah. Look at that thing. Look at how That's unbelievable. That's, super cool. That's unbelievable. I've got a boga grip hooked to the other side. You know, weigh it. 20 to 25. 20 to 25. 23. 23. And that's an IGFA certified boga. Oh my God. Get him in there. You gonna name it? <laughs> You're covered. You need to <laughs> swim after that. Oh, that's so great. That was awesome. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Yeah! What? 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 What's my problem? That's awesome. That's hilarious. Well, at least we're proving the point. Yeah. Fly fishing's stupid. <laughs> no, yeah, no, please, please do. Whatever I was doing wasn't working. And look, that instantly caught that the two times now. Right away. All right, well, let me put a bucktail jig on this fly rod. <laughs> How am I, I'm not even snagging one. Oh, they're feeding. Oh, yeah. I can't believe no one's biting my fly. I'm trying. There he is, in the face. In, no, it's in the cheek, I think. It's all right. <laughs> it's gonna get interesting here. <laughs> Dude, no, it's in his mouth. All right. Yay. I've probably caught a dozen big black drum and I think I've gotten maybe two actually right inside the mouth. They're kind of clumsy. Hey, Chandra, what are you doing? <laughs> I've got a big black drum. Me you too, <laughs> me too. <laughs> you caught the small one. It, did, it is the small one, isn't it? Got him! Got him! Nice job, Woohoo! All right, we're gonna land yours. You deal with him, and we're gonna do a double. Okay. Percy. Real right, enough. Name is Percy. Yeah. Should I put him in the water? Yeah. Nice. I'm scared now of the shark. I don't know where he is. I got him. Got him. Yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> Say huge. Huge! <laughs> Alright, right. hold him up. Let's see him. Yeah. My arm's hurt. Okay, into the water. Into the water. Ready, ready. Woo! Boom, boom, boom. I love you guys. I love you guys. That was so awesome. Oh my God. No fun at all! Ah. Let's go get another one. Will you beer me, please? That's wild. Yeah, they're coming back around. 
Oh, what is that? Okay. Oh, cool. Whoa, tail slap. Nature, dude. Gnarly, that's what half of a drum looks like. Nature's real, bro. One bite right in half. We harassed those black drum for a few hours and it was a lot of fun. The shark attack was cool too, not gonna lie. But it was getting late, we had to start making our way back. We stopped at one little pond along the way and it was full of sheep's head and they were being typical sheep's head, but Chandra wasn't done quite yet. They are delicious. It's my, my favorite fish on earth. I see what you see. Yeah, nice, yes, yes. Nice, good job. Yes, dude. You saw me side fish that. Right? Yeah, well, I just saw you start casting and then I saw the shape. Nice work, Hot Rod. Yeah, that makes sense. Nice work. Did you see me see him? That was fun, that was super fun. Nice snook, dude. That was fun. Oh, oh no. That's okay, that's all right. That's okay. That's right. That, was, that was cool. Good job. That was cool. Nice job. Good work. Get another one. That was super cool. I yeah. saw her and I threw at her and I fed her. Oh man, that felt good. That was a good way to end it and it was time to head in and get some sleep because we were gonna do it again the next day. We got out a little earlier the next morning and we had a better idea of navigation and where we wanted to go. The forecast was calling for big W in the afternoon so we planned on doing just a half day. We started off in the sheep's head pond which had like no water in it and I caught a little mangrove snapper but that clip fell victim to GoPro quirkiness so we don't get to see it. After that, Rob took us to a snooky looking bank and we found some fish pretty quick did it. There. Yeah. Nice. It's a it's a snook. Yeah. So its head shakes. Keep it tight. 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 Is yeah. That's my biggest. Oh, I had to say that was my biggest snook ever, right? <laughs> I don't know, but he's not on there anymore. Oh. I had to say that. No fly. Weird. All right. Let's, 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 yeah, let's regroup. Oh, yeah, you just, you guys like in the gills. Yeah, he frayed through it or sliced it. Yeah, that's, I mean, he did that quick. He was in the face. Yeah, he was shaking his head. Dang. That's my biggest. Oh! <laughs> Can you grab me a beer, please? I've caught a fish today, so I've earned this beer. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Pelican. Yay. No more snook after that, so Rob took us to another bank where we bumped into another group of fish that we were really not expecting. Oh, 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 oh. It's a sheep's head. Oh, it's a gr grouper. It's a grouper. It's a big grouper. Cool. Pull him out of there. Is this? He slurped it. That was cool. Is this a Goliath grouper? That's what I thought. And I'd seen people catch them up in this stuff. Cool. Pull him out, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out. Dang it. That was super cool. Dang it. What happened? He took our fly. Yeah, it's in his face. I see it. I was not paying attention to where he was going. Yeah, we kind of had to lay on it. Yeah. We didn't really convey how hard he Yeah, no, I did not. I was, I was not prepared for that. Cool eat. Yay, that was super cool. We lost a fair bit of leader here. There. Yeah. It's a, sh it's, is that? It is. It is. It's a tiny, tiny Goliath grouper. We are in the land of groupage. Can I grab his mouth? Uh, let's, in, let's investigate. It's really pretty fish. Look at that, guys. Damn, grouper on fly. Look at the pattern on this fish. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm not sticking my hand in his face. You can, you can probably hold it. Yeah, I will. I will. He's like pokey. I'm not sure what to do with him. A group animal. They're so pretty. Yeah. yeah, he's got pokey stuff all over him. 
This is really neat. <laughs> His eyes are cool, even. Yeah. All right, Gary, thanks for playing. Gary the group, Gary the Goliath grouper. <laughs> nice job, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. There were a lot of things that, that I was considering potentially catching on this trip. Black drum and Goliath grouper were definitely not on that list. <laughs> like, not even close. <laughs> Weird. What is it about this square mile? You know? Oh my god! Horsing, horsing, horsing. Oh. That was what I think it was, wasn't it? Dude, no way! I saw the stripes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cooper Gorge, dude. We call it that because of the canyon walls. Yeah. Well, that was cool. I know catching baby Goliaths is becoming more common, but it just wasn't on my radar at all. I was not prepared for it, and I did not know that when you hook one, your priority should be to keep it out of the wood. They love wood. In case you don't know what a Goliath grouper is, they get like 500 pounds. The ones we saw were baby babies. We saw five of them in a small area and got eats from three, so they're pretty bitey. What's the deal there? Why were there so many on one small shoreline? Is that how groupers grouper? Is that why they call them groupers? I have no idea. But that was the end of our day, so I guess I'll just have to think about it constantly until I can get myself back there again. We ran back to the ramp and had a late lunch and I said goodbye to Rob and Hot Rod and went off to do my own thing. I caught some peacock bass the next day, but that's not going to be on YouTube. You can see that on my other channel at special.tv. And that's going to do it for this video. Got to see some old friends and some new ones. Thank you guys for taking me fishing. Got to see some new country. I caught three new species of fish, mangrove, snapper, goliath, grouper, and peacock bass. I had a fantastic time and I cannot wait to go back. Thank you as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video for you. Until then, enjoy your stay at Cypress Cottage and stay huge. Left side. Left side. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>